Welcome back to the workshop everybody. So glad you could be with me here today. The wood I'm planting today is white oak. Quercus alba. It's probably in the top four contenders in my workshop for what I call hard wood. Some of you have wood from different countries that is much harder, more cranky, more filled with other minerals and resins than Quercus alba. Want to do a wine barrel lesson here. The difference between red oak and white oak is not just the color. Red oak does tend to have a more pinkish, reddish tone that even after you do finishing on it, that red tends to bleed through. Sort of like mahogany. Mahogany will do the same thing. You can bleach them and over time it will come back. But Red oak and white oak differ in their cell structure. I planed the end, end grain here, and as you've heard me speak in the past about quarter sawn wood having the growth rings 90 degrees to the face. So this face will be quarter sawn. This is flat sawn. This is the inside of the tree, this is the outside of the tree. The further to the corner you get, the further towards sapwood we get. Now, what makes white oak so good for barrels, wine barrels, whiskey barrels, is the fact that the medullary rays or the medullary rays that radiate out from the center of the tree, you can see them here, they'll go like this. Because here's the center of the tree. So you see the rays. Water will be minimal as far as migrating out in this direction. So if this is the outside of the barrel and this is the inside of a barrel stave, the liquid that's in there, water, wine, whiskey, has a real hard time making its way out through white oak. Red oak, it's like a sponge, all right? That's one of the reasons why they don't use red oak. Also, the taste is different. You get more vanilla flavoring from white oak. But that's barrel making 101. You use quarter sawn staves, and you use the liquid on the inside or the outside of the quarter sawn stave, and that way the liquid cannot penetrate past the medullary rays. So, the other reason for today's video is to talk a little bit, and I'm going to try to be really quick with this because it can get real boring. You'll know that in videos past I talked about keeping my channel video content only no advertisers. And that's still the intention. I don't want advertisers. If I'm going to get support, it's going to be from you. You'll click on the donate to channel button and you'll put a couple bucks in there for a cup of coffee or a sandwich. But I was listening to a gentleman who is known the world over for his computer skills. And he has a YouTube channel. And he doesn't want the money from the advertisers either. He says, I could care less. That's not why I'm using YouTube. He said, YouTube is only a platform for me to get my videos out there. He says, I, don't, I could care less about the money. He's worked for governments around the world. 
large corporations, and so on. So, he looked into how YouTube manages who gets to see this video. <coughs> so, here's the dirty. The only people who are going to get access to this video, <coughs> if you're not a subscriber, would be if you happen to just stumble on it. <coughs> Excuse me. If you're not monetized as a content creator, your videos get shoved into a folder in some obscure place on the World Wide Web not able to be easily found by typing in a word or two. So, for the next couple of months I'm going to test this theory. So if you happen to start seeing commercials, it's not because I've gone money hungry. I want to reach more woodworkers, more newcomers, people who've never used a hand plane before. People who don't know the joy of making a piece of molding and hand planing the bead and hand planing the face. Okay? I still see a couple pencil marks on there. That's okay. We'll get rid of them. So I want to reach, reach people who normally we would not have been able to reach if we didn't monetize. So you're going to start seeing commercials, ads, however they show up, whether they're in an overlay or whether they're a little video before that you can click on and, and skip through, which I hope, I hope that'll be the majority of them. But there again, I don't have any say-so in what, what YouTube does. And I'm still learning this stuff. It's kind of hard to teach an old dog new tricks. But that's about it for today. I want to thank you for being here with me. Look at that. <laughs> it's like, like planing mostly air, but... It's hard to believe that wood that has that much of an open grain can be made into a barrel that'll hold water, hold beer, wine, whiskey. But that's the wood that kept people alive on ships coming from far and wide. All right? All done with vintage hand planes that are over 75 years old, original blades, sharpened, simple sharpening, one, two, three. If you found something useful or entertaining, give it the old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because that's one way that we know we can get to you and let you know that we've got some new content, but also share it. Go out on whatever social media you use and uh, share any of the videos that I've, I've posted up to date or this one. And head out to your shop. Go make some shavings. Walter out. <laughs>